Houston had had averaged over 500 yards a game the year before, 50 points a game. They'd scored 100 on Tulsa. In fact, Houston in '68 is the last team in college football to score 100 points in the season. People thought that's what was going to happen to the Gators. And so you guys came out and did the exactly same thing to them. And it all started with that 70-yard bomb, which is you know one of the fundamental uh, parts of Gator football history. I'll just like to ask you guys, each one of you, to, to tell us your recollections, and we'll start with John. Okay. Well, I remember thinking since they played that man-free coverage where they're lined up five yards off that we had a good chance. And we talked, Carlos and I talked to Coach Pancos about throwing a bomb first play of the game. And uh, that's how stupid we were. <laughs> and uh, he said, no, but we'll throw it early. We'll throw one early. You know, and uh, we got the coin toss and uh, ran a couple plays off tackle. And it was on the right hash, I remember. Third and seven on the 30, and then it came. I remember the name of it, 79 streak. And uh, split left, you know. And uh, walk up to the line of scrimmage and look out there. And Carlos, you know, the, the high, uh, college hashes are wider, you know, so we're way over in the right hash. And he's flanked like five yards outside the left hash. And that corner's lined up ahead on him, and he's probably 25 yards from this next closest guy, the safety. And so I said, looks like just like the film. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that was film back in those days, you know. <laughs> Used to break all the time. <laughs> Have to splice it. We did wear regular helmets, though, didn't we? <laughs> and, uh, but sure enough, took the snap, took my steps. Protection was great. Launched it just like we'd done all summer long. You know, it was just, we wasn't even thinking about it. And and he was five or eight yards behind the guy and hauled it in and ran in for a touchdown. And it sounded like a bomb exploded in that place. It was unbelievable. What a feeling.